Hello again everyone, it's the Black Knight again, and just following up a little bit more on the whole new import-export update we got going on here, the DLC. We're going to try out the Ocelot Penetrator. I don't make these names up, they do. Essentially an XJ220, with some pretty good stats here. We're going to try it out on the Sonora Freeway, see what it looks like. The 220 was one of my faves as a kid. Intended for Group B racing, it would be 217 miles an hour on a curved track, which they think we meant it could really probably do 223. Let's see what this one does. I'm really curious, is it going to be a fast car at the top speed? Is it going to be a great handling car? I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm in for when I make this left turn. What kind of brakes it's going to have. First time for all of us. Brakes not as good as you'd hope. The brakes are not as good as you'd hope on that. Definitely want to brake a little early. Put some money into brakes. Now the cornering is very good. Seems pretty stable, even what's in a slide. Looks great. The engine's all wrong on it, though. I mean, the, the XJ220 has a twin-turbo six-cylinder of incredible power. Let's see if we can take this flat. Yeah, it can. I got a break right here. For this turn. And then there it seemed like it braked a little better. I'm supposed to have brake fade later in life. No, not really in video games all that much. Again, this is just a first drive. We're going to just take this one through. And then we'll take a look at the other new car. Let's see, how's it going to do? Two oh five nine nine two. that's respectable. Um, it's, it's the same speeds you get out of an LG. So it, we're definitely, it's not stock on stop top of the mark here. This isn't the new fastest supercar, but it's a quick enough XJ220 like this. Now let's take a look at the other one. What was it called? It was a Lamborghini. It was a Pegasi. What the Pegasi want? Noon traffic. Rain clear. Traffic off. Play. Let's find it. It's over in the P's. The customs. And then there's the penetrator. T20 Tempesta, that's it. The Pegasi Tempesta. This has a lot of potential. Looks like a Gallardo. To me, it looks like a Lambo Gallardo. Nice sound. Nice sound. Let's see what this one is. Again, there's going to be a lot of potential to upgrade here if it has a spoiler and that kind of thing. Same with the, the penetrator. Well, this isn't the end-all, be-all kind of thing, but we want to get a baseline. How is it going to compare? How does it feel? First turn's a biggie. Better brakes than the penetrator. Which, for a half a million more, you'd expect that. Handles pretty well here. It's sharp and... Pretty precise. I'm 
I don't mean to be quiet on you, but I'm really trying to give this car its best. I do like the look. Definitely from, you know, the more recent years when Lamborghinis try to make it look more and more like the Batmobile every time they do something. We come around here. I'm not expecting new fast to supercar out of this one. It's definitely not pulling down RE. Well, maybe it is pulling down RE 17. We'll have to look. Now nah, we're plus two minutes. But 202 is quick. 202 stock is quick. Again, I think an RE does like 157 stock. But still, 202 is up there. It's up there with a lot of the classics. Up there with the T20 ish kind of stuff. Stock. Up there with my uh, Entity XF. Within a second or so. So, very nice. Very nice. Okay, here's the Diabolus. There's the Diabolus Custom. Should we run them both? Looks like the Custom is going to have the edge. Let's try the Custom, see how it compares. If the Custom isn't faster than the, you know, the best, biggest, wildest bikes, and I don't think it's going to be. I love how I can rev it up with my mind. Not a wheelie mobile, so this is gonna be a hunker down bike, I think. So we'll hunker it down. It's got ever so slightly better stats than the the unmodded one. Seems like it has pretty good handle. Good brakes, good handling. The question is going to be, does it have the top end to take on the, the best bikes? I have no idea what this is going to cost. If there's a million dollar mod on this... It could get pricey. It might be up there with the, you know, the Hikachu Drag as far as price is concerned. Again, we want a sub two minute run here if it's going to be competitive with the fast ones. I pushed that a little too hard. I held that. I, I think I recovered well enough, but I definitely pushed that a little too hard there. Diabolus. 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 Is that like Ebola? No, no Ebola. I'm leaning forward so it didn't jump at all. Then just hug the road. Oh, we're not there. Two minutes is coming and gone. Two o seven, two o eight. Yeah, this is definitely. It's a style bike. That's a style bike. It's a nice style bike. 211's quick, but not as quick as the fast, fast, fast bikes. No, no. You can race it if you want the challenge. And who knows, if you mod it up, it'll be completely different. But for right now, there you go. You got three good looking, pretty fast vehicles that don't look to be too expensive compared to some of the other things that are going on. Now I'm trying one more thing. I don't know if it's going to be there. And two different slam vans. That's neat. Slam van and slam van custom. Nightshade. Where is it? Come on. The Phoenix, the Picador, the Rat Truck. There's the Ruiner. No. They do not have the Ruiner 2000. You can't race 
the Ruiner 2000, which I think we should all be kind of thankful, don't you? I think that's probably the case. Well, folks, on that note, this is the Black Knight. Have a great night. Enjoy your new vehicles, and we'll see you in the next one here. And on that note, this is the Black Knight. Have a great night.